In this video, we're going to go over how to use the NDI scan converter to send your lyrics, scripture, and lower thirds. Hey guys, this is AJ, the CEO. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by. And on this channel, we focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So I had somebody send me a message asking, is there a way to send scripture, lyrics, and the lower thirds over to their live streaming computer without using an ATEM switcher or some type of video switcher to save in cost? And the answer is yes, you can. You can use NDI. NDI is a great protocol that New Tech made to where you can actually broadcast video over your regular network or Wi-Fi. Would highly recommend you use a cabled network, but it can work over Wi-Fi. This is what I've used when I did the NDI monitor, which I will link up here, as well as some other videos. But let me show you how it all works. It's real simple. So let's go ahead and cut over to the computer. All right, the first thing you need on this, now this will work on any computer, all right? So the very first thing we need to do is we're gonna open up our browser and we're gonna go to newtech.com. And we're gonna go to NDI here. We're gonna go to the NDI tools. And here you go. And it is now on version 4.0. So we're just gonna go ahead and click that. Well, actually, before we go to download, these are all the components that they have. The stereo, I mean, excuse me, stereo. The studio monitor is the one that I use for our NDI monitor at my church. But the one we're gonna be using right now is the scan converter. So we're going to just go to download. And again, this works on Windows and Mac. So it'll, um, either way it will work. I'm on Windows. So this is the one that I'm going to be downloading. All right. So during the install, we're going to get all of these apps. I just did the full install. So we're going to get access manager, introduction, all the stuff. But like I said, we're only going to be focusing on the scan converter. And when you run that, you're going to get a little app that runs over here. And pretty much what the scan converter does, it converts any screen that's on your computer into an individual NDI output. So under the settings, you want to set your frame rate. Um, normally you would know what this is on whatever way that you're broadcasting. Me, I capture in 60 frames per second. That's what I'm sending over to my system to record my live streaming. And I'm actually using this right now. Yes, I have an ATEM switcher, but I'm sending everything over in the eye to my live streaming system. So, you know, we can set do you want points of interest and all this other stuff and you can play around with those settings including sound so now that i got this all set up let's go ahead and open up now the person who asked this question is using easy worship easy worship runs just like any other program one screen has the controls the other screen is outputting the signal, the video that's normally for a projector, TV, or something like that. So it doesn't really matter what I'm using. You can even use PowerPoint for this. So, well, actually, before I do that, let me open up OBS on my computer here, and I'm going to just show you what it's actually doing. So if I go here to, I have a secondary NDI source here. Nothing is here except for this. If I click on this and look for my sources, I'm using the um, RTX 2070. That's on this computer. So as you see, monitor number one is showing up as an input. Monitor number two is showing up as an input. And then I have the OBS that I have open is showing another NDI input. And my streaming system has another. So that little app will make every monitor that you have as an NDI output. So just like when you're doing PowerPoint or any of the presentation softwares, normally one of these monitors is the output. This is what you want to use to broadcast. So like if I broadcast this now, you're going to see the input from my ATEM controller. That's what you're going to see. But anything that you run over here. So let me go ahead and minimize this. And I'm going to shrink this down so you can see what's actually going on at the same time. Now I'm going to go ahead and open up 
worship extreme all right so I'm gonna go ahead and let me just bring up let's bring up the sample here and I'm just gonna bring up scripture over here now again we're capturing we want to capture the second screen so let me go ahead and turn that on and as you can see I'm selecting this this is the small preview now if I bring up OBS it's showing the exact same thing as the full output on my secondary screen and this is how, first off, I mean, this is the test just to make sure it works. So like if I show the full screen now, this is what's coming in on my second screen. OBS is looking to capture the NDI output of monitor two. That's what you're seeing. So just to show you again, if I change this to monitor number one, see, now you have it inside of itself over and over again, all right? So let's go ahead and switch it back to number two here. And this is how we know it's going to be going out. All right. And any program that you use, ProPresenter, Media Shout, Easy Worship, any of these work because it's just capturing that screen and pushing it out as an NDI output. All right. So how would you do this as lower thirds? So I don't have a secondary screen on here. So let me see if I can, oh, actually, yes I do. I have a webcam hooked up to this. So let me take this full screen just for right now. I'm gonna add my webcam here. All right, so you can see I'm here talking to you. So what I'm gonna do is simulate, I wanna put the webcam below this and we're going to make this as it's transparent. So let's go back over here to Worship Extreme. And I think I actually have something that's a lower third already. Yeah, so I have one called Lower Third AJ. So let's go ahead and launch this. It's all solid black. So if I come back in here, as you can see, you can't see nothing. Now, I'm doing this in OBS, but I'm going to do it in vMix as well, too works exactly the same so I'm gonna come here to my NDI source I'm gonna go to fill right click go to filters and I'm gonna do a color key I want to get rid of a color and that color I'll pick custom and the color is gonna be solid black and as you can see now I have my text going on the screen now if I had a song it will work the exact same way so let's go ahead and see if, well, let me pick scripture because I think that's the safest thing to do. And this is good because it already had a banner and everything made. And as you can see, it works the exact same way. Obviously, I won't want to get up here somewhere <laughs> so the text isn't cutting off your head or anything like that. And let's do it side by side here so y'all can see. And let's set it to always be on top. So if I came in here and was changing scripture, as you can see, works perfectly fine now if you had animated video behind here and you had the top a certain color green whatever color that makes it stand out the exact same thing would work all right so now i don't think i have vmix on this computer but let's go ahead and try it i'm gonna leave worship extreme open and yes, I do have vMix installed on here, so that's good. All right, so I'm here in vMix. I need to do an update, but I ain't worried about that right now. Let's make our input. We're going to input um, our camera. We're going to use our webcam here. All right, so we got this. Now we're going to make our other input as NDI. It's as simple as selecting add input and then go to NDI. And it's going to search for all of those same inputs. As you can see, here's monitor number two. We just select that. OK. Give it a second. And there you go. Now, how do you overlay it? You just hit this number one here. But first, let's go over here to the gear. And just like in OBS, we want to do a color key. So let's go over here to color key, pick our color. You can hit the eyedropper and just click on the black. That will work. And as you can see, we get the same thing. Now, you might want to play around with this to get get it 
just right so maybe about right there is good all right and then you can probably do some anti-aliasing all this other fancy stuff if you want to i'm just doing this for um just the tutorial part so you can always get more fancy with this so now that we got this we just gotta hit overlay number one right here And it's super small because I think it's because of the size I have here. So I need to redo this size here. All right, my overlay was set as picture in picture instead of full screen. So let's try that again. There we go. So that's how easy it is in the same way. If I left this full screen and then went over to my next scripture, actually it won't let me do that. Let's put them side by side so you can see. So if I was coming in here and changing the scripture, as you can see, works the same way. Lower thirds, anything like that will work. So that is as simple as it is to get that done. So I hope that helps. Just make sure I have all the links to what you need, which is mainly just the new tech NDI 4.0 tools that will work on Windows or Mac. So anyway, I hope that helps for the person who asked that. And if you like this type of content, I would appreciate a like, consider subscribing and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. This is AJ. We will see you on the next video later.